This scenario addresses the price of uh, complementary goods, goods that are consumed together, cornflakes and 2% milk in this particular example. So what's going to happen if the price of cornflakes falls? Well, then people are going to be more willing to consume the meal cornflakes plus 2% milk, in which case the demand for 2% milk will expand. And let's show that in blue. D2. D2 is the new demand curve. What's happened to the supply curve? Nothing. The supply curve is still S1. However, the equilibrium has changed. Where's our original equilibrium? Here, $2.800 units. Now, nothing has changed on the supply side. Supply still remains S1, so producers are still willing to supply 800 units. How much do consumers want. Let's show that by drawing a red line at the $2 all the way across to the new demand curve and then down. So let's say it's about what? 1500 units. So at $2 consumers want 1500 units Producers want to supply 800 units, so we have what? We have an excess demand of 700 units. We're not in equilibrium. How do we get to equilibrium? Well, we have excess demand, so we expect that producers will raise their price and will continue to raise their price until we end up here at a new equilibrium point where the supply curve S1 intersects with the new demand curve D2. And let's show that in yellow. So it's about 1,200 units and about $3. So that's what we expect will happen if there's a change in the price of the complementary good. If the price of the complement falls, the demand for your good will rise as we've shown in this case.